So Dan, we just at um, training obviously on Monday night. Just talk us through the game on Saturday. Yeah, yeah, I think it was a bit of frustration again, wasn't it, uh, in terms of the, the goal that we conceded uh, from a set piece. I don't think there was a lot in the game. Obviously, a way at Braintree is always going to be tough, and they had some opportunities, but nothing really, I didn't think really threatened, and I think a lot of stuff was easy for Northie to. Uh, look after and then we had a couple of opportunities I think Manny had a good chance with a header and Alex a shot and then we had some threats in the second half as well so I think credit to Braintree I thought they got their goal and they defended quite resilient and compact and tried to hit us on the break a little bit and just looking at the stats we dominated possession in the first half and second half which was a positive but lacked a goal threat probably being able to work the goalkeeper enough so I think we have to give credit to Braintree and how they set up and how well they defended and having a good season aren't they so but I think there's a lot to work on us I think there's a bit of frustration within the group, but I feel it's stuff that we can rectify and we can look after ourselves. And the idea will be tonight to try and work on them bits. Obviously, looking at them as well, their experience side and obviously played in this level for, for a number of years, so that tells as well. Yeah, I think they had a good season last year, and I think a few of them boys are still there this year, which gets them a bit of continuity as well. And we haven't unfortunately got that. We've got a bit of continuity from boys coming up the levels with us as well. But I think we look at them probably and, and see what they did last year, and it sort of gives us a little bit of hope that you know we can push on and finish higher up the league as a challenge. But I think we're going through a little bit of frustration phase at the moment. Um, things just aren't quite going our way. And, and we need to work really hard as a group and stick together in these moments and all journeys have these moments and it's important that we stick together in, in terms of it and you know I think a wind's around the corner it's just a matter of time and just tidy our play up a little bit. I know obviously you spoke to BBC Essex after the game on Saturday and said about the club's in a bit of a transition period at the minute good training week though to two sessions this week to try and sort of counteract that. Yeah I think that was really important in terms of um, having a break from the the, the regular games and the two games a week and it gives us a bit of time to reflect on where we're at as a group and us as a management team and we're going to change a few things in our setup and how we want to play which is like most teams will do at certain points in the season and I don't think you always see the best of teams sometimes till around about the Christmas period or even into January and that'd be our aim and you know we're halfway through now we've played everybody bar Dover and we've competed against everybody and I think the challenge will be to try and do that again next uh, second half of the season and if we can do that to the level that we hit before and you know, to the standards we met and, and keep competing I think we can have a good second half of the season but I say no easy games and it's a big challenge for us as a, as a newly promoted team but I think we're really looking forward to it. Obviously, like you mentioned, Dover twice in the, in the next three games but um, slow, up, slow at home first on Saturday. Yeah, slow first, yeah, yeah, yeah. We were probably only game we've probably been a little bit disappointed in in terms of our performances and not actually competing it was a blistering hot day that day wasn't it and fair credit to Slough they got the first goal was really important and uh, they went on a good run they've had really good cut runs and Scott is a good manager I think it's important that we approach it we're at home we want to do well and we want to try and get that first goal and start fast and like I say we're going to work on a few things this week in preparation for that and focus on us a little bit uh, I think we do that and then the boys can deliver that and make good decisions on the pitch then hopefully we can start you know, turning these draws and, and a couple of defeats into wins. Cheers, Dan. Thank you.